ISD because we are all like a family. One thing I love about Kaufman ISD is the community. Oh, they treat the students and staff. Mucho para dar nuestros hijos oportunidades para que ellos crezcan y se desenvuelvan no solamente en la escuela, sino en la comunidad. We are like such a positive, loving, safe community. You're giving kids these real life uh, opportunities that are going to give them chances at careers later on. So for me, Kaufman ISD means all about our family and all about the roots of our family and where we came from. I love the children when they come. We love Kaufman ISD. We love KISD. Amamos a Kaufman ISD. We love Kaufman ISD. Yo amo KISD. I love Kaufman ISD. We love Kaufman ISD. We love Kaufman ISD. Welcome to Roar TV, I'm Elijah. I'm Lance. Today we'll be learning about the one I can play. Let's go talk to Bill Thompson. What are you changing between the UIL showing and the public showing? Um, we're adding in a few more scenes because one act is limited to 40 minutes. So now that we have no time limit, we're adding um, a dance at the party scene in the beginning, a few monologues that uh, had to get cut for the original, um, and we're adding more to the ending fight scene. Do you think doing a play like Hamlet lays the foundation for similar plays in the future? Yes. Uh, it took a lot of work translating the old English that is in Shakespeare's plays. Um, and you had to truly understand your character to convey to the audience that doesn't typically understand that, you know, 16th to 17th century English. What was your favorite part about playing Hamlet? Um, the iconicness of some of the lines, you know, to be or not to be, what a piece of work is a man, and just the depth that Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in. I mean, he's the most studied character in the English language, so that was pretty cool. Do you think that having stage combat experience is beneficial? Yes, 100%. I want to major in theater when I go to college, as well as with neuroscience, so having stage combat experience is good for um, any play that we do, whether it be a wartime play or a play like a picnic like we did last year. So, yeah. Great. We're done. Now I'll go back to class. I'm Tony. I'm Jax. We're halfway through track season. Let's go talk to Gary Prox. I'm Tony. I'm here with... Gara. What got you in the track? Um, it's something that's been in the family for a long time, so like, I always knew I was going to be in it. And what are your expectations for this next meet? Um, hopefully to get new PRs and to stay in the top three of our district. And who is your favorite track star? Um, Cindy McLaughlin. She has the 400 meter hurdle record. Back to the studio. Hi, I'm Adam. Hi, I'm Thomas. Girls soccer just lost a tough game to Anna. We talked to Ryan Smith before the game. Hi, I'm Kevin with Roy TV and I'm here with... Ryan Smith. <laughs> what made you want to play soccer? Um, I've been playing from a young age and I guess I just stuck with it. What do you bring to the team and why? Um, I bring my positive attitude and hardworking mentality. How does it feel to be the first team in seven years to make it to the playoffs? Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, I feel like this team has something special. How much do you think you've helped the team into the playoffs? Uh, I think I've helped a lot just by, I guess, scoring, but also I couldn't have done it without my team because our defense works hard and our midfield does too. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Linton Lucas. I'm Aaron Page. Bayon has come back from New York. Let's go see what Journey Fuentes has to say about the trip. I'm Aaron Page, you're with Journey Fuentes. Journey, would you explain how y'all got to just go and perform at Carnegie Hall? We had to send in recordings of old performances that we had done in the past. It was kind of like an audition, and the board of Carnegie, uh, they all had to listen to each performance, and they decided which was the best. And then, um, what was the favorite part of the trip? Uh, it was getting to hang out with all my friends in a place that was kind of unfamiliar, getting to explore and try new things. It was awesome. Cool, cool. Um, and most people that are watching probably haven't performed in like a big area like Carnegie Hall. So I mean, what was it, what was it just like to perform there? It's pretty awesome. The stage, it was really beautiful, huge. It seats around 3,000 to 4,000 people. And people like the Beatles have performed on that stage. So it's pretty awesome to be there. All right, well, it's pretty cool. Back to studio.
Thank you for watching this week's episode of Roar TV. Make sure to like and subscribe. You're gonna you're gonna go. You're gonna like this. Feet like this. All right. And then you. And then you're gonna kind of grab gonna the table. <laughs> Wait, so like. <laughs> I gotta be on my Alpha Sigma grind set mindset. I've been... Yeah. Oh. <laughs>